Okay, so let's look at the quote that we have on the board to start off our discussion today. A reader lives a thousand lives before he dies, and the man who never reads lives only once, by George R. R. Martin. Do you know who he is? No. Game of Thrones? Oh. 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 Right? Yeah. So we all know Game of Thrones started, it started as a book, and it became a movie. So what I want you to do, I'm going to time this. I want you guys to take just like a minute. I'm going to look at the clock, and I'm going to give you a minute, and I want you all at each table to decide what you think this means to you as a reader. And then we're going to have each group report out. All right? So I'm going to step back. I'm going to give you guys a minute to discuss this. Decide what your definition of a reader lives a thousand lives before he dies. And go. Disabilities. Any other groups that someone might belong to 
because it doesn't have to do with a racial identity. Mental health, good, I like that. Anything else? No? Okay. So those are, do you have another one? Good. Income, poverty, poverty, homelessness. Yes. So you guys actually covered all of the sections that I'm planning to add to those bibliographies over the next few weeks so that when they're rolled out to the rest of the building, you guys will be able to choose from those lists. Now, this is how the program is going to work. It's called Read Woke. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to offer it to everyone, and they get to choose whether they join the program or not. So that's the good part. You don't have to do this. It's not a requirement. But your pledge to join the program would say, between January 1 and the end of May, May 30th, you would pledge to read at least three books from three different groups that you do not belong to. So why do you think that I think that is important for you guys? Okay, getting different perspectives. Their experience being in that group. I love that. Bringing in the community is really important. Especially if it's people that we know, like people know or know in the community. That's a good idea. I love that. Yes, we could do that too. Do we yeah, have like that. people in the group also talk on their experience too? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so, we, yeah. so yeah. we could make it like a Read Woke Book Club, but then extend it to the whole school yeah. too. Like you don't have to come in or you can come in when you want after school. That's interesting too. So we could open it to the whole school and do it in classrooms, but we could also have offshoots of You guys have got good ideas I hadn't even thought about. Well, when you come to the library, you're not really just like always reading books. So when you come to the library, there's games and things to do instead of just reading books. Like there's lots of things. Most people don't come to the library because they think it's just them reading books the whole time. But like if they actually come and see what people that come to the library see, then I think that they'll like it if they actually come. With so other activities around the read yeah. idea besides just come get a book and sit and buy it. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, pull people in and then catch them and then get them reading. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I've done both of them. Yeah. You're not thinking about the adventure and the romance. Uh -huh. right when the books come in, are they going to have like the categories of the book? Um, I think what we're going to do is have some displays. Because I have a book order going in. We're getting about two thousand dollars worth of new books for Read Woke, like that are all published within the last two to three years, like the brand new, brand new stuff that I would love to have purchased before. We just didn't have enough money, so we're getting an extra little push, which will be really nice. And we're gonna do some, um, we're gonna do some displays, and then we're gonna have printed out bibliographies so people can take a bibliography. I'm gonna put it on our website so they can click and see the book. It'll take them right to our catalog um, so they can check it out or put a hold on it right away. And then um, I like the idea of having some way to de designate them. Maybe we should order some stickers and it would be the category that it's from. My only concern with that, I will tell you, in the past I've asked pe have had people ask me to put rainbow stickers on the LGBTQ books. And the reason I have chosen not to do that because if we have someone who hasn't come out of the closet yet, but they're still interested in reading, I don't want to keep them from reading books they want to read. And so we don't want to like put a stigma on someone who is still trying to find out who they are. So those are the only reasons. But maybe Read Woke is the time to put those stickers on because people would have a reason to have that book without feeling uncomfortable if they're not ready to talk about it. I have an idea for that. Yeah. Like have a dis like just a paper, uh -huh. and we can have designated uh, colored stickers for each group. That way, it's not out in the open to those who are out. A colored sticker. Yeah. So like, that way, you know which type of book it is without having to show others what type it is. Yeah. Those are I, I like that's a good idea too. Or it be in the side. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea too. I was thinking like we could browse quickly because we already have the genre stickers. Um, I'll have to think 
about that. We'll have to discuss it. Maybe I'll discuss it some more with other students. All right, any other ideas or thoughts or I, feelings about the Read Wolf program that we're going to be introducing? I'm glad that you guys seem kind of excited about it and have some really good ideas. Yeah, I'm kind of getting really excited about it. Jaquela? Um, Like, don't you need to get multiple, like, um, copies of one book, or is it just that one? I'm going to have multiple copies of some of the books, yes. Because, like, if it's multiple copies and it's like an equal amount, also, and you can put stickers on, like, three half and half, so that way if they want to read that book and they don't want people to know, um, like, don't want people to know, then they can get the ones that have the stickers on there. That is a good idea. Why is the one with the stickers, like, on display, like, not, like, the state? The other thing I thought about is doing a display. I'm not sure how you do it because it's like hundreds of books. I guess I could. I was thinking about printing out the covers like on a copy, but I don't think that will work because we. I don't know where we could put it. The other thing I thought about doing too is because we have eight windows here, putting Read Woke, and when you sign the pledge, you sign your name on the window, so we all know who's in it with us. Yeah. 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 Like, I thought that was kind of cool. Just like this little something that doesn't cost any money either. Mm -hmm. And we'll have flyers and handouts and ways to keep track and online stuff, too. I've got some ideas. So if you guys, you guys are kind of my goal out. You are the first kids I've told besides some of my library students. And I'm excited that you guys seem excited. So if you all have some ideas or start thinking about it, like you go home tonight and I would love for you guys to come back and say, hey, this is pretty. How about this? Or I thought about this. Or my friends and I were talking about this. We'd really like to do this. I would love to have a student advisory panel that helps me run the Read Books program with ideas. It wouldn't be like burdensome at all. Like you're not going to have to come in an hour a week or anything like that. But just that I know there are kids I can go to and say, hey, what do you think about this? Or how do you think this will go? So that we can really make this a success. And I'd love to make this a yearly thing. Mm -hmm. awesome. Guys, thank you so much for your feedback. This really makes me excited. Um, I think this is going to be a really great program, and you guys have a rest of your great day. And